that's when you think your child is being cared for at school and on the bus. Just when you think. You two friends. You two friends. When you have your perfections, go with your instinct. Please go with your instinct. Our intuition never fails us. It never fails us. So, unfortunately, I had to do this. I had to take this recorder. Okay, I had to take this recording device. Okay. With some tape. And put it in my daughter's mm. bag. Uh. So, you two friends, uh. I had to put this device in Kira's bag, you two friends, because Kira was coming home with some little bruises on her arms, and I couldn't explain it. Her father couldn't explain it. Uh. And when. We talked to the bus driver, the bus aide, and the school. No one knew where those bruises was coming from. So me, being a mom, I had to do what I had to do. Okay? So what I did is I took that little small recording device and I placed it in her book bag. And show sure and behold, guess what? Guess what I discovered? Guess what I discovered? Uh, hey, kings and queens, uh, kings and queens, uh, when it rains, uh, it pulls. So y'all saw me earlier, right? Uh, I placed a recording device in Kiara's book bag, right? I had to do it. I had to do it because I uh, didn't understand why Kiara had these bruises on her arm. And you know, it could have been an accident. But again, I couldn't explain it. The father couldn't explain it. The teachers didn't know what happened. Neither did the bus driver or the bus aide, right? So I said, okay, it was in my spirit, right? It was in my heart. I was like, dad, what can I do to help my daughter? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? So I was like, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And it might have been illegal, but I had to do what I had to do because I needed to know what was going on on my daughter's school bus, what was going on at her school, as long as the the recording device would record. So I was trying to uh, catch anything. If somebody was saying anything to her, if somebody, you know, was hurting her, I was hoping to hear, you know, the sounds. So, huh, do you want the tea? <laughs> let me all tell you all something listen let me tell you all something because i know y'all want the tea this is so surreal families with and without exceptional need children i'm telling you we parents we guardians we have to protect our children at all times let me tell you all something people will portray they will portray you and they will put up a persona they really will do that. And people will put up this persona, okay? They will act like they're kind. They will act like they like you. In all actuality, they can't stand you. They can't stand your child. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you all something. Because it was in my spirit, like I told y'all. It was in my spirit. So I said, again, I'm going to put this advice in my daughter's mm -hmm. backpack, right? Because I want to hit anything, mm -hmm. anything. And sure and behold, mm -hmm. your intuition mm -hmm. never fails. Mm -hmm. Your intuition never fails. <laughs> so let me tell y'all something. Let me let me get Kira a book bag. Because I got some tea for y'all. I got some tea for y'all. Kira book bag, right? I hid the device in like her pocket of her book bag, right? So she had this baby playing all day, as long as it would, right? Kira gets home, get off the bus, we get her settled in, she eats, 
she goes to the bathroom, you know, our, our routine when she gets off the bus. I'm like, okay, I'm anxious, I'm anxious, I'm anxious. I'm praying that we're going to um, have some kindness and some goodness going on here, right? But um, I open this up, I know. I'm like, okay, let me rewind it, let me rewind it, let me rewind it, because you know it's playing all day. Let me rewind it, let me rewind it. <laughs> let me tell y'all what I heard on here. So it timed out. The recording timed out by the time she got at school. Because usually from here to Baltimore, it's like a 45-minute drive, right? So it timed out by the time she got to school. But, uh-oh, sorry, baby. But what I heard, but what I heard on the school bus was disturbing. It was quite disturbing. So, right, Kiara, I can hear Kiara because I know my child voice. I can hear Kiara and I can um, hear the ladies telling her, to shut up <laughs> is on the recording <laughs> and i wish it was loud enough because you got to remember the sound is going to be dead and i wanted to play it but i can't because you are not going to be here but the sound was so dense because you got to remember you got the engine playing on the bus you got the other kids going on and talking and things of that nature and so the sound is real dense so what i heard on the recording was the bus driver and the bus attendant talking about my daughter they were talking about my daughter, they were talking about me, and they were talking about Mr. Ram. Okay? In the midst of all of this, they were telling Kiara, because, you know, she was making sounds, and she kept calling their names over and over. And I ain't going to say their names, but they kept on calling her name, she, Kiara. Kiara kept calling their name over and over again on the bus. I'm not going to say their name, but Kiara kept calling their name over and over on the bus. So, um, the bus, um, um, A told Kiara to shut up. I was like, her? So, okay, I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm disturbed, I'm upset. So, you know, Kiara kept calling their name, kept calling their name, and I, I can just hear that um, bus driver, because I, like I said, the bus driver aide, I can hear her, um, I can I can tell by her voice. I can tell by her, first, her voice, kept telling Kiara to shut up. Kept, kept, I know, I know, I'm going too fast, I'm going too fast, because I'm upset, I'm upset. So anyway, anyway, so listen. Kiara, Kiara bus driver, right? Kiara bus aide. They were having a conversation. They was having a conversation about Kiara. They was having a conversation about myself as well as James. And like I said, they kept telling Kiara to shut up, right? You know, because she was trying to communicate, you know, as best as she could. So they were telling my daughter to shut up, okay? Not only were they telling my daughter to shut up, I also heard other children babbling as well. And they were telling those kids to shut up, okay? So... What bothered me the most, all of it bothers me, but I heard the bus driver said, hmm, to the bus bus driver now, because she's talking to the bus driver, you know, so it's the bus um, driver on the bus and the attendant with the student. So they're, they're communicating. I have everything on here. I have it all on here. They're communicating back and forth, and I can hear them saying, um, um, Kiara's going to end up in a mental institution. Um, she crazy. Yes, they did use the terminology crazy. Yes, they did. I have it on the recording, right? So they use the terminology crazy, okay? They said, my daughter is crazy. They said, I don't know how they handle her. It wouldn't be me. I would have been had my child in an institution, have it all on this recording. As I was listening to the recording, okay, tears just flowing down my face, just flowing down my face. Because I'm like, wow, like, dang, I'm hurt, I'm baffled, right? Tears flowing down my face. It's like, wow, Prince George's County Public School, you know, they, they hired these, these workers and they don't have the heart to educate. Many don't have the heart or the patience to tolerate children with or without exceptional need. They're definitely in the wrong field, right? So, so I'm, 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 I'm taken. I'm, I'm baffled. I'm, I'm speechless and I'm hurt. I'm like, wow. You, 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 you two are having this conversation. You two are having this conversation about my family, about my daughter about we should institutionalize her because of her behaviors? Are you kidding me? Do you have the audacity? Why would you even talk about her like that? Talk about her in her presence amongst other children. And not only that, 
I hear you all having conversations about other children on the bus. Like, really, is this surreal? Parents, look, this this video is going to be, this video, look, look, parents, I, I just came on here just to let you all know. You cannot trust everybody but your child. And I mean, that could be family, friends, educators, you know, it could be anyone. You just can't trust everyone. You can't. People smile in your face every day, all day. And they be the first people to stab you in your back, to hurt you and or your child. Please be careful. Please be careful. If, you, if your child, listen parents, if your child have an exceptional need, like I've stressed in the other video where I talked about this bus attendant, this other bus attendant choking my daughter, y'all need to really, really examine your child. And I'm serious, top to bottom. Check for bruises, okay? Check for behavior changes. You know, and like I said, I said it before, you know, you want to check their feet, okay? The front of their feet, the bottom of their feet, behind their ears, okay? Check they check their body for knots, you know, bruises, under their armpits, you know, on their back, you know, in the stomach area. You will be surprised where people uh, try to hurt children, where they think it's not visible or where they think a parent is not going to check. So please watch your child examine them when they leave and when they return if you have to leave your child because you have to go out of town vacation you examine your child if you have to take photos take photos if you don't think you'll be able to remember okay take photos okay and if you need to have cameras in your home have cameras in your home listen we are our children's biggest advocate and, and I get it. I get it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work dealing with children with exceptional needs, especially when they have behavior issues. It's a lot. But you have to have people in your life that's willing to love you, love your child, and accept your child and won't hurt them. They won't hurt them. And the sad thing about it, you know, we, we take our children or we, or we send our children and we, and we hope, you know, we're leaving them in a safe environment, you know, that could be church, Sunday school, it can be at school, you know, it can be at a recreational center, you know, it could be with family and friends, okay, it could be anywhere, you know, and sometimes we think we're leaving them in, in, in good hands and it's not always the case, it's not always the case. So please, whatever you do, whatever you do, whatever you do, protect your child at all costs, at all times, please. 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 You already know what it is. I'm bringing you the tea. I'm bringing you the tea. I'm trying to keep it real. You two friends, this is real talk. This is real talk. I'm talking to you as a uh, as a mom with a child with autism okay we have to take care of our loved ones so listen we we have to take care of our children especially especially when they don't have a voice especially when they can't defend themselves right you know here is in a situation whereas she can verbally express herself, right? She could defend herself in a certain aspect, but she cannot go into depths, you know, about what happened verbatimly, you know? So, again, we have to step in. You know, we have to step in. There's a lot of families out here um, with children, uh, who has autism and they can't even talk they can't talk so what do you do you have a child with autism and they can't talk what do you do now at one time Kiara wasn't verbal 
But again, what you can do, what you can do, you can put some cameras in your home, right? You can always check your child's body going and coming. And another thing you do, you always look for clues. Look for behavior changes in your child. You know, sometimes, you know, you know, because they can't talk, they behaviors, they change. They they get quiet or their behaviors become inappropriate or they lash out and hurt themselves or they hurt others right and this is sometimes you know a cry for help most times it's a cry for help and then there's other times where it's just a part of their uh disability but if you see sudden changes in your child please be observative please be observative okay be observative okay so again, always check for bruises in areas where you wouldn't even expect somebody would hurt your child, okay? Because I am one to have witnessed, okay, a child being um, hurt, okay? I witnessed it for myself, okay? And what they say, you see something, you say something, right? So we do unto others as we will have them to do unto us, right? So just think if that was your child, how would you treat your child? How would you want somebody to treat your child? I need you all to think about all of that. Please think about all of that. This is real. And um, I, thank, I, I just thank God for just putting this idea in my head. And again, like I said, it's probably, it probably was illegal. I'm not really sure, but at the same time, I really don't even care because I got the proof that I need it. And for those who are curious, it was brought up, okay? I took it to the bus lot foreman. I communicated with the school about this recording, okay? And the people that was involved they were terminated. They were terminated. They behaved were unethical and it was unprofessional. Unethical, unprofessional. So with all that being said, we love you, we love you. We love you, you to friends, because you care for us, and we care for you all as well. Just keep on liking <coughs> and sharing <coughs> and subscribing. <coughs> Because it feels hard with, with love, yes. We love you, YouTube friends.